considered a few. <clears throat> well, this week, I came prepared. No need for your dodgy arts and craft, Aaron, because I brought my own proper Sly Cooper mask. We weren't planning on wearing any masks, though, were we, Hex? Well, uh, no, but, uh, Bardo, you are welcome to wear one if that's what you want to do. I do want to do that. Okay, well, a Sly Cooper has been missing in action for seven years, but now he's back with his new game, Thieves in Time. Can you see out of that? Because, like, it I looks like I the eye see. holes are really small. I can't hear very much, though. It's a distinct improvement. Oh, thanks, Darren. How do you like my cane style? I can't believe it's been seven years since the Sly Cooper game. Darren, could you access your database, please, and give us a bit of a refresher? Affirmative. Well, originally, Sly Cooper starred in a trilogy of platform games on the PS2. He's a master thief raccoon who steals from sinister criminals, a bit like a modern-day Robin Hood. He does a lot of sneaking around stealthily, and he also relies on his gang's strongman, Murray, and the tech genius, Bentley. Thanks, Darren. Well, I have to say, I didn't really enjoy this game much at first. There was just a lot of dull box smashing to collect coins, and the platforming is pretty much on rails. Instead of being able to jump and climb around normally, you have to look for sparkly parts of the background, then pressing the sneak button locks you onto them. And just when I started to feel like I wanted to put the controller down, they went back in time. You got it, chum! Do not slow down, Murray! I never do! Whoa! The first time jump takes you to feudal Japan. And because of the future technology being used, you can take advantage of Sly's hacker sidekick, Bentley. He gets to do fun things like following samurais with remote-controlled cars. Bentley also uses his computer to hack into security systems. Thankfully, rather than dull code breaking, these hacks play out as Tron inspired minigames. One sees you controlling a tank to collect keys and shoot at physical firewalls. Another sees a powered up version of Bentley flying around with a jetpack blasting viruses. Complete. Now, we've seen some games with some pretty crazy levels, but I think this one takes the cake. Turns out Sly's ancestor is a ninja sushi chef. So I was sneaking through a sushi restaurant when I walked around the corner and saw this. Yeah, I mean, who designs an indoor swimming pool that you can only cross by jumping between a, a line of sumo dolls being smashed together? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. But some of the ninja stuff here was a bit of a low point for me because the platforming felt even more like it was on rails. But then it jumped to the Wild West. We arrived in the Wild West, looking for my ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper. Affirmative, and Sly gets involved in a classic Western jailbreak. He gets slapped with a huge ball and chain, which he can use in some clever ways. Naturally, Sly's cowboy ancestor packs a pistol. The third-person shooting's a pretty big departure from normal Sly action, but they've done a good job of using slow-mo to let you mark targets easily. Plus, there are a few explosive sequences as you blast barrels and enemies while hurtling along railway tracks. Hit that barrier. Watch where you're going. I mean, you sure can't fault this game's variety. Uh, one of the criticisms I would give it, though, is that some of the sections really overstay their welcome, in particular the boss battles, which are a bit of a grind. But she dodged those whirlwinds. That wasn't very much fun. Yeah, and some of the dialogue is pretty cheesy. The last time I was in these sewers, I was just a teenager. And I can't say that I made much sense of the game's plot either. I mean, there's this time-traveling criminal mastermind guy who's hopping through history and stealing all these rare artifacts. But if you had a time machine, wouldn't you just go back in time and give yourself the winning lottery numbers? Don't overthink it, Hex. Just go with it. Yeah, but just go with the flow. it's just so much hard work. Well, what are you going to give it? Well, I just wish Sly's core platforming had been tightened up a bit because it really is quite simplistic. That said, it's been a long time since I've played a platform with this much variety and the time travel was really cool, so I'm giving it seven and a half. Yeah, it was that variety that won me over in the end, so I I'm going to give it eight. Mm.